Hello, I'm Jessica, and today I'm going to tell you about five things that the Elytra made possible in Minecraft. Now, these are all things that were, like, just about impossible before the Elytra was added, and now they are perfectly possible, and I think they are all wonderful, and it's really cool, all the possibilities that the Elytra added when it was added. And so we are going to start off with the most obvious one. Right now I am flying, but I'm using Creative Flight. The Elytra, of course, enabled flight in survival. Uh, don't worry about the fact that I have half a heart, that's normal. Uh, and you can now just fly. You can even fly for almost, for basically infinity, as long as you have firework rockets. And I think that is pretty darn amazing. And I hope you agree, because, I mean, who wouldn't want flight in Minecraft? I mean, isn't this cool? I think it is. Anyway, that is the first thing that the Elytra made possible. The second one is, of course, flying through one-block gaps, or indeed just going through one-block gaps, and this is actually possible in several ways. And uh, let me see if I can pull this off. Did you see that? There you go. Just like that, you can go through one block high gaps. And, in fact, this is useful for the third thing that is now possible with the Elytra, which is to create a sort of, like, I guess I, I want to call it a, a, like a mini-player or mini-person view, I guess. So... I have used my elytra to fly underneath these stone slabs, and as you can see, I'm now going underneath them in with my elytra, and I'm basically one block tall. I don't look like I'm one block tall, which is kind of strange. I just look like I'm poking out through the slabs. But these stone slabs are one block off the ground, and I'm just walking around like I'm some sort of little tiny toddler, which is which I think is really, really funny. And there are actually a couple of odd effects of this. The first one is that you can make yourself even smaller by going up on top of carpet or even snow layers. The maximum is, whoops, that, I didn't do that on purpose, but don't worry. Uh, the maximum is four snow layers. This is five snow layers right in front of me, and as you can see, I'm pressing forward, but it's just not working. I can't get onto five snow layers, even though I can get onto four just fine, as if it was a half slab. And that's kind of weird to me because you also can't get on top of a regular slab, even though in appearance it's the same height as four snow blocks. I mean, snow layers. So yeah, that's kind of strange. Also, if you shift, if you press shift, it makes you taller for some reason. I don't know how that works, but I, I guess it does. And you can't go into blocks that have a slab above them. So these blocks have slabs above them, but I just can't go in. As you can see, there's a sort of invisible barrier preventing me from going through. And it, it just won't work. And uh, also, just I'd like to point out that this also works with slabs that are one... Uh, one slab higher up, so you can also, with an elytra, go under 1.5 blocks, which isn't as impressive, but it's still pretty cool, I think, and maybe I'll make a video all on just this sometime, because I think it's a pretty awesome feature, and when you leave, you just go back to normal. Moving on, we have much faster transportation in survival, with very limited resources to boot. I mean, all you need is a few firework rockets, and, and an elytra, which granted isn't very easy to obtain, but once you've got it, the possibilities are pretty much endless. I mean, I've flown up very high all of a sudden with just a few rockets, and you can get around really fast with this thing. I mean, really fast. I can fly over the entire expanse of this creative world in just a few seconds, really. I mean, I've built a lot of stuff here, but apparently I haven't built enough to fill much space up, because I can fly over it really fast with an elytra. This almost, I'm not exactly sure, but this almost looks like it's faster than sprint flying in creative mode, but I'm not sure about that. And I can just I can just fly so fast, and so basically what this means is that instead of building long railroad tracks or ice tunnels or digging your way through the nether, you can just 
blast off and be anywhere within seconds. You can even save on firework rockets using the 4040 trick if you haven't heard of that. Whoops, my lights are broke. But yeah, if you haven't heard of the 4040 trick, it's uh, a trick where you go up and down uh, using you. You direct your angle of sight to 4040, and it basically allows you to get infinite flight. Uh, as long as your Elytra doesn't break, as I just found out. Where is Elytra in the creative menu? But, yeah, it, it it does work, trust me. So you could save on fireworks and not use any at all, and I think that is pretty amazing. So, basically it means you have much faster transportation in survival than ever before, and you don't need to build any infrastructure for it. And it's really pretty cool, if you ask me. The final one is kind of related to the one I just mentioned, which is that now, in survival mode, you can now go above height 255 by a substantial amount. I'm going to make a full video on just this, because I think it's really cool, so keep an eye out for that, because I promise it'll be a great video. But you can just keep going up. And I think this is amazing, because you were never able to do this before. I mean, maybe you could build a TNT cannon or a slime cannon or something at the top of the world and launch yourself up that way. You could probably get pretty high, but there was no way you could get up this far, whereas here you could just go basically as high as you want, as long as you don't run out of firework rockets. And personally, I just think that is awesome. And to conclude... The elytra is just the best thing. I mean, honestly, I just love it. Oh, by the way, you're invisible when you go above 255. Uh, just thought I'd mention that. But, I mean, I, I just, I love it so much. <laughs> uh, and I guess I just wanted to make a video about how much I love the elytra. So I hope you guys love it as much as I do, and enjoyed the video, and maybe you learned a thing or two, except for the fact that the elytra is awesome. I mean, I hope you knew that already. And I'll... See you guys in my next video. Bye!